What's up, guys? BC Amplified here. And I will tell you, there is not enough coffee in the world to prepare someone to make a recording like this. But it needs to be made because this man deserves the respect, the kind words, and the tributes that he has earned. I told you guys in yesterday's impromptu video not to be surprised if there was another impromptu vid this week. But this is not what I had in mind. Over a late night coffee last night, I received word that John Huber, a.k.a. Brody Lee, FNA Luke Harper, had passed away at the young age of 41. At first, I did what I'm sure most of us do in these situations. I refused to believe it, and then searched for confirmation that this story is indeed false. Unfortunately, every search I conducted ended with the same tragic result. My refusal to believe what had happened needed to subside. I, we, the wrestling community, are now faced with the realization that one of the most promising performers in all of pro wrestling is no longer with us. A man that had finally broken away from the chains that binded him in WWE, and now with a new outlook in AEW, a new beginning with bold new visions. The sky was truly the limit for Big Brody Lee. The wrestling world has finally started to see why for two years, BC Amplified praised this guy's talent, ranted on WWE's misuse of him, and was so damn excited when Big Brody debuted in AEW on that March 18th edition of Dynamite as the Exalted One. And sure enough, it didn't take long for this guy to win gold. But that is just his profession. This man was a husband and a father who absolutely loved his family more than any title, fame, or profession. You hear any Brody Lee, any John Huber interview, and you see that the beast you see on TV is just a small role that John plays in his real life. You hear of legends like Mean Gene Okerlund passing at the age of 76, Bobby the Brain Heenan passing at 72, or even Pat Patterson at age 79, and even those ages seem too young. You wish they could entertain us for just a few more years to come. But when you hear the age of 41 you can't help but think that's just not fair. And it's not. But the world's not fair. Nothing is guaranteed, especially not tomorrow. Thus, every day you wake up, pound your coffee, and completely whoop that day's ass. And you complete that process every day until your number is called. What makes this especially hard for all of us is that John was just starting to tap into his brilliance. For the first time in years, he was having fun again, and it was noticeable. He was just starting to scratch the surface on his new character, and his creativity quickly made its way to the forefront. His last match was October 7th against Cody Rhodes in a dog collar match. None of us thought too much of his absence. After all, it is pro wrestling, not ballet. So it wasn't uncommon for wrestlers to take impromptu time off due to nagging injuries. It's only now that we are hearing from John's wife Amanda that he was battling a lung issue. His wife has stated that it was non-pandem related and that he was surrounded by loved ones at the time of his passing. 
Usually, guys, when it comes to a big news story in the wrestling world, I tell you I'm going to do more research and update you all next time. But honestly, I don't even want to research this story anymore. The cause, the details, none of it brings back Big Brody. The situation just sucks. And I know the entire wrestling world is just gutted by this. WWE issued an official statement recapping his time in World Wrestling Entertainment and sending their condolences to John's family. AEW's Tony Khan released a statement, and I quote, I'm devastated by the loss of John Huber. John was a great man. His family came first, his loving wife Amanda, and their sons Brody and Nolan. He loved wrestling and was great at it. He loved you fans. Please keep him in your hearts. <sighs> Braun Strowman posted an old pic of the Wyatt family and said, and I quote, I'm at a loss for words. Hashtag rest well, brother. Stephanie McMahon posted, and I quote, I'm so deeply sorry for the loss of John Huber. We bonded over the love of our children. He was a true family man. Hashtag R.I.P. Brody Lee. Randy Orton says, and I quote, I don't have the words. R.I.P. Brody Lee. May God send his beautiful family as much strength as possible. And Daniel Bryan posted, I love you and I miss you. Hashtag R.I.P. Brody Lee. And Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt posted a tribute message to Brody, to John, that I can't even recite to you because I am on the road traveling and I would break down. And that's probably not something that I should be doing right now. But if you do have the time and you do catch Bray Wyatt's message in tribute to John Huber, to Brody Lee, to Luke Harper of the Wyatt family, if you do catch Bray Wyatt's post, um, be prepared to uh, break down a little bit. It's an I'm not crying, you're crying situation because uh, it'll make you, well, it'll stop you in your tracks. And at this time, uh, it's probably uh, the best bet not to go over what Bray Wyatt uh, posted. But it'll definitely make you think about the man that John Huber was. And so many others shared their kind words, respect, strength, support, and love to Brody his family, and his loved ones. And it's no different on this channel. On behalf of the entire Amplified unit, thank you, Luke Harper. Thank you, Brody Lee. Thank you, John Huber. In a profession where everyone seems to be a carbon copy of one another these days, you stood out for all the right reasons. A shining star that burned out too soon. But sometimes it's better to burn out than fade away. A shining star that'll never be forgotten. <laughs>